Hey everyone, Blau aka Cove here, and today we're going to go over a new way to use text to speech with your commands, twitch points, and alerts, all using Lumia Stream. Let's get started. So, if we come over to Lumia Stream, we're first going to create a command. I'm going to create add command, and I'm going to just name this command TTS. I'm going to select no light change, and I'm going to go to dynamic options and skip the queue because I want this to always fire immediately when someone, you know, redeems it. I'm going to go to the TTS tab, press enable, and by default, it will say username use command. If I press test, test use test, you'll hear the default. If I wanted to set that test when I'm either testing through the app or testing through Stream Deck, I can set it here by just setting equal sign behind the variable. So I can say equals Lumia. And now if I test again, Lumia use test, Lumia use test. And you can learn more about that in our variables video. But as you see, you also got your voice options. We have a ton of voices. Uh, we even have ways to download more voices, which we'll show later on in the video. Um, but yeah, you could choose any one of these. You could choose the popular Brian, test it out. Lumia use test. You can change the volume for this specific command. You can even delay it if you wanted to. So if you wanted your light to go off and then your text speech to go off, you can do that as well. And you get the idea. But I'm just going to change this command to another variable called message. And what message does is it gets the message that the user types without the command. So without the exclamation point TTS, I'm going to press apply, refresh and go over to my Twitch channel. So now if I go over to my Twitch channel, I can put exclamation point TTS and I can say, Hey there. Hey there. There you go. Now we can also create a Twitch point or even a Twitch extension in the exact same way. I'm just going to go to add command. I'm going to call this say instead of TTS, you can call it whatever you want. And I don't want my lights to change and I want it to skip the queue. One more thing I want to do is make sure that the user is required to enter a prompt when they redeem this, you know, Twitch point. So I'm going to say enter your message. I'm going to go to the TTS tab, press enable, and I'm going to say username said, and I'm going to use a different variable here. You can still use message, but the more correct way is using prompt. I'm going to choose a voice option here. Let's say Microsoft Zera. I'm going to press apply, refresh, and I'm just going to go to my Twitch channel and I'll redeem this say. So cool. Lumia Cove said this is so cool. There you go. Now, of course, you could do the exact same for Twitch extensions. You can also add it to an alert. So if I go to Twitch follow, you'll see text speech show up right here. You can put in whatever you want, your voice option, same as we did for the command and Twitch point. Now, let me show you how to download more voices. So this link will be linked down below, but I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way. You're going to go to the search, put in speech settings. And now you can see all of your different voices here. You can see your installed voices as well, but you can also add a voice. So you can select the voice here. Let's say I wanted to do Chinese. I can press add. And now it will install, but after it installs, it won't show up in Lumia right away. You're going to actually have to restart your computer to for it to show up. And then you'll see it show up in that list of Microsoft voices. So all these voices right here, you'll have the new, you know, Chinese one and you can use it. So Harina. And you get the idea. Also, one last thing is that you want to make sure your text to speech output is on the correct output device. So I have my GoXLR, the music output. I have it right there, the same as my audio output for Lumia Stream. So you can change that, you know, if you're using, you know, a different route that you want to point it to, or you can just point it straight to the desktop if you want. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching, and we hope to see you all next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and have a luminous day.